Hello people, in this video we want to look at this osteomyetal unit or osteomyetal complex, okay? So where exactly are we? We are looking at the nasal sinuses, right? Paranasal sinuses. Look at this, you will understand the maxillary sinus, the frontal sinus and the anterior ethmoid. All the three drain here. So they have marked here the osteomyetal complex. Can you see in this uh, line line? So all this is your osteomyetal complex. This entire thing is your osteomyetal complex. So why is it important? Because it is a common drainage pathway for your maxillary sinus, your anterior ethmoid sinus and your frontal sinus, right? For all the three, it is common exit. So look at this. It is an important osteum opening of frontal maxillary and anterior ethmoidal sinuses, right? So that is why it is important and that is why in the exam also they will ask you about this. So let us look at uh, the image here where what they have shown here in the textbook. This is a coronal section showing relationship of maxillary and ethmoid sinus. Okay, floor of maxillary sinus is about 1 cm below the floor of nose. So maxillary sinus here and other sinus is not marked here exactly. Frontal is here and it anterior ethmoid somewhere here you can see right. What do you say? So, all these sinuses are draining into what? Into this osteomethyl complex. Look at this one here. So, what are they showing here? This is your middle turbinate. This is your uncinate process. This is your bulla ethmoidalis. This is the maxillary sinus. And this below your middle turbinate will be what? Your middle meatus, right? So, all of it is draining into what? Into the middle meatus. Is this clear? So, this is the osteomethyl complex. Again, this is the coronal section. Okay. And what is it showing? The uncinate process is in sagittal plane bounding the infundibulum in which opens the ostium of maxillary sinus. So into the infundibulum, who is draining? This is the infundibulum. Who is draining? The maxillary sinus opening in the infundibulum. So one more term you got here. What in all terms you got here? Maxillary sinus, middle turbinate. Below that you have middle meatus. This is the uncinate process. And here you have the infundibulum. Okay, guys, so here we go. The osteomethyl complex consists what and all. It has some structures like the middle turbinate. Yes, the middle turbinate. Please zoom this. Let's look at it in detail and understand. So what structures are there? You have the middle meatus. Sorry, middle turbinate. Yeah, this is the middle turbinate, which is a structure. Then you have the uncinate process, which is a structure. You have the bulla ethmoidalis, which is a structure. And then you have some agar nasi cells, which we will show you. Then you have some spaces. What are these spaces? Which spaces are they talking about? So you have the middle meatus. So where is the middle meatus? It is below your middle terminate. So this will be the middle meatus. Then we already know what the infundibulum is, right? So where is the infundibulum? Here, ethmoid infundibulum, they have marked here. This is the infundibulum that we know. Then you have something called as hiatus semilunaris. Where is that? Where is the hiatus semilunaris? Can you say hiatus? Hiatus. Semilunaris. Semilunaris. It's here. You see it's here. This place. They have marked it as hiatus semilunaris. And they are saying maxillary ostium. That is the opening of the maxillary sinus. Right? See that ostium they have marked here. In this photo. This is the ostium. Beyond which is the infundibulum. That's a space. Then you have the hiatus semilunaris which is a space. Then you have the middle meatus, which is a space. So, so many spaces they are talking about. Maxillary ostium, infundibulum, hiatus semilunaris and the middle meatus. Four spaces you got. Right? Four structures they are explaining. Which are the four structures guys? Middle meatus, uncinate process, bulla ethmoidalis and the agar nasi cells which they have marked here. See here? Agar nasi cell they have marked here. So, four structures, four spaces you already got. And three sinuses open here. Three sinuses means anterior ethmoid opens here, not the posterior ethmoid. Frontal sinus, maxillary sinus and the anterior ethmoid sinus. Three sinuses uh, or you can say two and a half sinuses open here. And then four structures, four spaces that much you got. Guys, let us look at one more photo. Look at this one here. They are showing the hiatus semilunaris here. See, hiatus semilunaris they are showing here. Via, uh, this is the uncinate process they are saying. Ethmoidal bulla, bulla ethmoidalis. Then here what else you have? Agar nasi cell also they are showing here. Right. So, did you get the four structures, guys? Four structures. Let us see. Uncinate process, middle meatus. Okay. Then you have the uh, bulla ethmoidalis and agar nasi. Four structures we got. Excellent. Where are the four spaces here? We have the maxillary ostium you should have. Then you should have the uh, infundibulum, ethmoidum infundibulum, then the hiatus semilunaris, and then the middle meatus. Okay.
and they are saying only the anterior ethmoid will drain here not the posterior ethmoid okay and definitely the spinoid sinus will not drain here okay look at the importance guys of uh, osteomatal complex a mucosal swelling or congenital anomaly of this uh, osteomatal unit what can it lead to if there is any problem here basically obstruction right stasis repeated infections of the upstream sinuses all these sinuses cannot drain there is obstruction stasis repeated infections these people will have okay then whenever you do fest right functional endoscopic sinus surgery you will put stress on this complex you will have to uh, focus here and try to restore the uh, sinus drainage that's it okay that's the importance you got the importance obstruct infection repeated whenever you do this fest surgery focus on this unit because it is helping in drainage of three three sinuses okay two and a half sinuses one one more photo here guys look at this uh, so middle turbinate okay middle turbinate then what else you should see uncinate process yes uncinate process marked here then uh, bulla ethmoidalis then you have the agernesi cells then you what else you will look at the spaces maxillary ostium ethmoidal infundibulum hiatus semi lunaris marked as h is here see it is semi lunaris like a curve and then you have the middle meatus which is showing where here middle meatus so you got it right now that you understood what else do you think you need to know just in the textbook they have given some cadaveric images let us look at them and individual uh, whatever you saw no structures and spaces they have explained in the textbook we look at them also so cadaveric dissection of osteomatal complex middle turbinate is reflected upward so they have, okay middle meatus they live reflected upward so what they will see probe lies in the ethmoidal infundibulum so where is the probe probe is uh, behind the uncinate process so it is in the ethmoidal infundibulum and then they are showing something as hiatus semi lunaris bulla ethmoid bulla ethmoidal ethmoidalis sorry then you have here you have the everted middle turbinate okay this is the everted middle turbinate under which you are seeing all these structures uncinate process under that where the put the probe is the ethmoidal infundibulum hiatus semi lunaris bulla ethmoidalis okay and is coming out through the lower attachment of uncinate process okay one more image we look off and then only full theory okay so cadaveric dissection of osteomatal complex middle terminus is reflected upward uncinate process is removed and ethmoidal infundibulum is opened the probe is showing the frontal sinus opening nose the maxillary antrum so here they are showing maxillary antrum they only have marked the probe is showing what frontal sinus openings the frontal sinus opens here and the maxillary ostium they have shown here very good so basically the ethmoidal infundibulum is open or uncinate process is removed and they are showing opening of the frontal sinus and the maxillary ostium they have shown here okay so now uh, what else is left guys in this video okay let us look at that so uh, we have to look at each of these things in detail these structures and these spaces each of it in detail we'll have to look at but guys in the exam uh, if this question comes remember to draw this kind of diagram at least okay so where you will see that you will draw a line here like middle turbinate you draw okay then you draw the uncinate process on its uh, lateral side then one circle here showing bulla ethmoidalis then here you uh, mark the spaces you will mark middle meatus hiatus semi lunaris ethmoidal infundibulum and maxillary ostium maxillary sinus like this you can draw diagram in the exam okay it's good to practice this diagram guys okay and inferior turbinate also they have shown here so like this you draw okay practice it so just see what else is there here the outer structure is lamina papyracea here you have the cribriform plate this is the nasal septum right so the other side you can draw the same thing like this okay so let us look at the, all these in detail middle turbinate uh, so you know what it is right and there is something called as concha bullosa if this middle turbinate is pneumatized they are calling it as uh, concha bullosa then what else you should know same thing they are explaining okay this side you have the lamina papyracea then you have the middle turbinate here right so then then we look at the cribriform plate here right same thing they have mentioned guys ramana papyracea cribriform plate etc so we looked at the middle turbinate concha bullosa next we will look at uncinate process can you say uncinate 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 process uncinate process very good guys uh, so here you can see the uncinate process right so this is the uncinate process let's see the text here 
So it is the thin lamina of ethmoid bone. It forms the floor and medial wall of the ethmoidal infundibulum. It is sickle shaped structure. Runs anterior superior to posterior inferior direction. That's we have to look at in the uh, other view it. So what did they say? It is uh, running from anterior superior to posterior inferior. Anterior superior to posterior inferior direction. That kind of makes sense, right? Okay. Looks like there are two borders and two ends. So you have the posterior inferior end, yes. And then you have the anterior inferior end looks like, right? Look at all these in, mo in more detail, okay. We are not going into much detail here. There is a photo here which shows The attachments of uncinate process, upper attachment into lamina practasia, it is attached. Then this one is attached to the middle turbinate, I'm sorry, into the skull base and this one is attached to middle turbinate, thus affecting the drainage of frontal sinus, okay. You have to understand some 3D anatomy to exactly understand this, okay. Two borders are there, free posterior superior border, we saw anterior inferior border, same posterior superior, oh here it's posterior inferior end, okay. Brief overview, we saw of uncinate process. Next is what? Bulla ethmoidalis, what is this? They are saying this is the bulging of the anterior ethmoidal air cells, okay. And the anterior ethmoidal air cells open on or immediately above it. Yeah, that's what we see here, right? If this is the bulla, ethmoidal bulla, above it you have the anterior ethmoid air cells. Right? Can you see here? Anterior ethmoid S is marked here and the bulla ethmoid, ethmoidal bulla marked here. So, the anterior ethmoidal, uh, it's the bulging of the anterior ethmoid cells which open on or immediately above it. Okay? Here they are talking about some lateral sinus of Grunewald. Way too much. Let's move on. Agar nasi. Where is this? Good to look at this guys. Agar nasi cell is here. Right? And it is elevation that lies anterior to the middle turbinate. That's what they are saying here, right? It is a elevation that is anterior to the attachment of the middle turbinate and it can be pneumatized. That's why air cell they are calling it as agar nasi cells. If it is very large, then it can constrict the frontal recess and impair the drainage of frontal sinus. Okay. So agar nasi will be in the way of the drainage of the frontal sinus. Very good. So, we are done with the middle knee, uh, middle turbinate, concha bullosa, we saw uncinate process, you saw, bulla ethmoidalis, you saw, agar nasi cells also, we uh, saw. Now, let's move on to the spaces. Let's use a nice color, spaces. Middle meatus, maxillary ostium, ethmoidal infundibulum, hiatus semilunaris. Let's look at all these three. Middle meatus is a space that lies below the middle turbinate. So, you have the middle turbinate here, below that you have the middle meatus. It is, uh, okay, you got what middle meatus is, that's enough. Let's move to the next one. Ethmoidal infundibulum. So, you remember where this ethmoidal infundibulum is? Where is this infundibulum? It's a space. So, it's here. See here, ethmoidal infundibulum. What is lateral to, uh, medial to it? You have the uncinate process. Lateral to it, you will have the lamina papricia. Okay. Look at this image. What is this? Uncinate process. What is this? Lamina papricia. Middle, whatever space is there, what is it? Ethmoidal infundibulum. That's it. So, let us look at the textual matter here. Ethmoidal infundibulum. Ethmoidal infundibulum. What and all opens here? The frontal sinus, anterior ethmoid acids, maxillary sinus. All three are draining here or two and a half are draining, right? Two and a half sinuses are draining here. The boundaries are medially you have the uncinate process and the frontal process of maxilla. Laterally you have the lamina papricia. Done with ethmoidal infundibulum. Did it say infundibulum? Yes, infundibulum. Let's move on. Hiatus semilunaris. So what is this? Hiatus semilunaris. Name is nice, right? It's a two-dimensional gap, okay. It lies between the posterior superior free border of the uncinate process and the front of bulla. It opens laterally into three-dimensional funnel-shaped space called ethmoidal infundibulum. Wait. So, this is the hiatus semilunaris here. And what they are saying is it opens into this uh, ethmoidal infundibulum. That much we can understand. And this side it opens into the middle meatus, right? And what are they saying? Just remember that it's a gap, guys. Okay, that much is enough. Otherwise, it's also complicated if you want to read it. Let, this is the last one. We are done. Oh, wow. So, let's see. So, we are done, guys. Uh, structures. Okay, we did structures. That time only spaces we had to look at. Middle meatus we saw. 
it is below the middle turbinate maxillary ostium is nothing but the opening of the maxillary sinus that is here maxillary ostium then ethmoid infundibulum you saw that is here that's the space then you saw hiatus semilunaris okay then only middle meatus will come anyways so we looked at all the spaces so we are done with the osteomatal complex guys let's take a review so in this video we wanted to look at osteomatal complex what is it basically it is an it's a common opening for the frontal maxillary and the anterior ethmoidal sinuses okay and uh, it it is a complex that it has some structures and some spaces the structures are middle turbinate which ha which can have the concha bullosa you have the ansonate process the bulla ethmoidalis and the agarnesi cells the spaces can be medial meatus maxillary ostium ethmoidal ethmoid infundibulum and the hiatus semilunaris okay so then what and all we looked at we looked at its importance basically if it is obstructed then it will definitely obstruct the drainage of so many of these sinuses okay and uh, there can be sort of stasis and repeated infections uh, because of uh, this uh, very critical place this is functional endoscopic sinus surgery that is fest when they are doing they stress on this complex so that they can relieve the sinus drainage and they can enhance the sinus drainage so we looked at a lot of images we looked at cadaveric images then we saw this important photo that you can draw in the exam to explain the uh, osteomatal complex in the coronal section then we looked at each of the structures that is the middle turbinate we looked at then we looked at the ansonate process right and then we saw the bulla ethmoidalis which is the bulging of the anterior ethmoidal cells uh, okay and then we saw the agarnesi which is lying um, you know uh, as an elevation to the attachment of the middle turbinate and if it is pneumatized then it will be other nasi cells it can block the drainage of frontal sinus middle meatus basically it is a, now we have come to the spaces guys uh, spaces in spaces we looked at middle meatus it lies below the middle turbinate then we looked at the ethmoidal infundibulum where all the three sinuses are opening interestingly and its boundaries we saw medially ansonate process laterally lamina papracia then we saw the hiatus semilunaris which was a nice name semilunaris basically it is the gap that lies between your infundibulum and your middle meatus looks like okay just we'll read at this text more to understand okay then we saw the oh that's it that's what we saw in this video so in this video we have covered the osteomatal complex or the osteomatal unit that's all for now guys bye bye